Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. That's right, I don't have any more Core 2019. So instead, we're gonna open up a box of Masters 25. That's right, I figured, you know, my luck with Bolas was so bad. What, you know, what what better way to prove that my luck is bad than to open up a box of Masters 20, 25, right? A set that a lot of people didn't really like because of how, much, how hit or miss your pulls could be. We're gonna open this bad boy up. We gotta like do the thing, right? You put the thing in, you put this thing down like this, like so, boom, you build the box, then you take the packs out of the box. Right? That's what I've heard. Boom. Then you put the box down to the side so it's out of the way. Let's get in. 24 glorious packs of Masters 25. Undead Gladiator. Crozen Colossus. Genju of the Falls. And a Fetid Heath. With our first foil being a Timber Pack Wolf. Well, starting off with a nice uh, filter land. Can't complain about that, I guess. Goblin War Drums, Kong Ming Sleeping Dragon, Lightning Bolt, and a Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake and a Foil Lunark Mantle. Can't complain about a Lightning Bolt though. Lightning Bolt's always a good card to pull. A couple bucks there, that's for sure. Good old Perilous Mirror, Iron Shaman, Corona's Zealot. And a Phyrexian Obliterator. Mmm. I think I needed this. I have a feeling that I needed this for the completion of my set of Masters 25. So that's pretty sweet to hit. Angelic Page as my foil. So let's put our, our commons and uncommons down there. Put our mythics here and then we'll leave. There we go. Enough room for another row of rares and what have you. All right, Regrowth, Mesmeric Fiend, Utopia Sprawl, another good uncommon. Oh my goodness, how about a port? Can't complain about a port, that's for sure. And a Foil Mog Flunkies. Can't complain about a port, that's, that is true. Curse Catcher. Now, I don't know if this guy's worth anything from this set. He, I know that he is worth quite a bit of money in foil. Um, I don't know if he's worth anything regular. So we'll put him down here for now, and I'll take a look later. Pillory of the Sleepless. Cavu Predator. And a Reef Worm. The guy that makes all those tokens. So he's a 0-1 for 4, but when it dies, it makes a 3-3. Three, three. And then when that dies, it makes a 6-6. Six, six. And then when that dies, it makes a 9-9. Nine, nine. And we got a returned Phalanx foil. Now, there's a reason that we opened up this set. And that's because I was told that I needed to open up a set that contained a different Bolas to try and get it. And this set has Bolas in it. And it's the original printing of Bolas, I believe. Blightning. Mishra's Factory. Cloud Blazer. And a Chroma, Angel of Wrath, two Mythics already. Oof. Let's hope that our box isn't only a two Mythic box and that those are not just the two Mythics that we get. I mean, Phyrexian Obliterator I'm pretty happy with because I think I needed it for my collection. But a Chroma I definitely didn't need. I think I have a foil of Chroma already. Spike Shot Goblin, Zulaport Cutthroat, Iwomori of the Open Fist, and a Strionic Resonator. And our foil is Borrowing 100,000 Arrows.
Eh. Eh. Twisted image. Promise of Bru Bunray. Promise of Bunray. Will Bender. And rest in peace. Not a bad little rare. Can't complain about that. And a foil Brood Hatch Nantuko. All right, we are one third of the way through this box. Let's continue. See what else we can find. Good old Fiend Hunter. There it is. Good old Fiend Hunter. Myriad Landscape. Ravenous Chupacabra. And Rurik Thar the Unbound. With a foil. Murder of Crows. Nobody likes a Murder of Crows. Except maybe people who like crows, I guess. I don't know. Stang. Genju of the Falls. Treasure Keeper. And... Laquatus, uh, Laquatus's champion. I think I need that card for my collection as well. And a foil arcane denial. Not a bad little foil, that's for sure. I have a feeling that I need that Laquatus's champion for my collection as well. There was a bunch of weird, like there was a bunch of black cards that I just didn't end up getting for my collection. Brood Hatch Nantuko, Simeon Spirit Guide. I think that's worth something. I don't remember. Shadow Mage Infiltrator and a Fortune Thief. Oh, how about a Foil Filterland? I'll take it. Foil Flooded Grove. Yes, please. And look, our 6 6 Whale token. Yes, please. That was a spicy pack. That was a spicy pack. Core Firewalker. Curiosity. Swords to Plowshares. And a Coalition Relic. Not a bad little rare as well. And a Foil Disenchant. Alright, alright. I don't think the co I think the Foil Coalition Relic is worth quite a bit, but I don't think the regular Coalition Relic is worth as quite as much. Zombify. Zombify. Caustic Tar. Brine Elemental, and, and is it Chemister, with a foil Pyrehound. What happened here? Open. Open, says me. Spike Shot Goblin, Iwomori of the Open Fist, Humble Defector, and how about a Chalice of the Void? I will take it. I will take it. Three Mythic Box. Ooh, and a Foil Cultivate. Also another very good card. I will not complain about these things in general. Bailoth Null. Zoetic Cavern. Pyroclasm. And a Decree of Justice. With a Foil Dirge of the Dread. Dirge of Dread, I should say. Dirge of Dread, not Dirge of the Dread. What would be the Dread? I mean, I guess we all have that constant Dread, right? I mean, maybe that's the Dread that they're talking about? Perilous Mirror. Ish... Ishan's Shade. Boros Charm. Very good uncommon. And a Grenzo Dungeon Warden. With a foil fencing ace. There's our fish token. Got our fish token. All right. Oh, was that a counterspell? Did I see a counterspell? Counterspell. I don't think the Nettle Sentinel's worth over a dollar anymore either. Undead Gladiator, I know it used to be. Stampede Driver. Zulaport Cutthroat. And an Elvish Piper. And a foil Stang. Stang foil. What else we got? Jalira, Master Polymorphist. Urbis Protector. Fierce Empath. And a Blood Moon. That's a very nice rare, too. And a Foil Pacifism. All right. This box has been pretty good to us. This box has been pretty good to us. 
I mean, I don't think that the Phyrexian Obliterator is worth a crazy amount. Like, is he's like the Mythics we got. Chalice is very good, but we didn't open a Jace or something like that, right? Heavy Arbalist, Quicksilver Dagger, Sigh of the Shinobi, and a Rugged Prairie. Another filter land. And a foil presence of God. Enthralling Victor. Congregate. Sigh of the Shinobi. And Blue Sun Zenith. With a foil heavy arbalist. Alright, we're down to the last four packs here. Last four packs. Can we get there? Blue Elemental Blast. Pillory of the Sleepless. Merfolk Looter. And... A Vindicate. With a foil. Mystic of the Hidden Way. So now, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've opened a whole box of this in one go. Uh, but I believe that you were generally... Supposed to get about two foil rares per box, something along those lines. Crows and Tusker, Freed from the Real, Quicksilver Dagger, and an Asusa, Lost but Seeking. Not gonna complain about that. And a foil Chandra's Outrage. Not gonna complain about an Asusa, that's for sure. Maybe we got there. Maybe we got there. Oh, there's the Relentless Rats. It's like a dollar common as well. I should go back through the pile, I guess. F uh, Fiend Hunter, Ire Shaman, Corona's Zealot, and another mythic. Four mythics. Gisela, Blade of the Gold Knight, or Blade of Gold Knight. Not a mythic, not like, you know, we opened up a couple of the mythics that are not like super crazy value, but we did hit four mythics. We hit four mythics in this box. I'm not going to complain about that, that's for sure. Heavy Arbalist, Deadly Designs, Nyx Fleece Ram, and a Chroma's Vengeance as our last rare with a foil invigorate. So we only got one foil rare, but it was a foil filter land. So I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. That's pretty sweet. And we did hit four mythics, which is pretty awesome. And we hit the port, the Souza, the Blood Moon, the Coalition Relic, and we hit two other filter lands. So I mean, we hit three filter lands total. We hit the port. We hit Chalice of the Void. This was a pretty sweet box. We didn't hit that Nikki B yet again. Still no Nikki B. He's just avoiding me. Maybe he's frightened of me. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he's scared. He's scared of me. That must be it, right? He's totally, totally scared of me. Must be. Has to be. That. That is the only answer I'm willing to accept. What? I have terrible luck. No, that's not it. That can't be it. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget, I have a Patreon where you can get grab bags, bundles, booster boxes, things like that. I would greatly appreciate your support there. If you can't support with a monetary value, don't worry. Thank you for just watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like, share my videos. I would greatly appreciate that as well. Uh, that's how you can help out without paying anything. So that would be great if you could. If not, no worries. Thanks for just watching. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.